All right. Well, let's get on with the show, shall we? So, today, I am going to try to get a better light here. But, I'm going to go over really quick. I'm not going to do a long video like last time. Um, just some of the things that I used to use, that I'm using now, and why. Um, some of the, let's see if I get that over there. Some of the gear that I use for winter trips too. Like these micro spikes. Camp shoes. My, my sleep systems. Some of the new lights. Um, and you know, let's talk about some of the things that I have. Things that I've made. Like this I made here. My under quilt. Yeah. Thanks for watching this video. This is going to be my video on, like my updated video of, of uh, what's in my pack. So the first one was, you know, a few, few years back I was just getting started on it. And I, it was all, it was, everything was different. So we'll, we'll get over that hill when uh, we come to it. And I'll explain why I switched over. Most of the things because I'm going lighter, not crazy light, but I'm gonna start going a little bit lighter here, like switching things up. So like, for instance, I used to have this um, big headlamp. You'll see my videos, my earlier videos, most of my videos until like the last one. My big headlamp had like three lights, and one, two, two small lights and a spotlight, and you can rechargeable battery and like, webbed over your head super freaking bright I loved it <clears throat> but it was time for an upgrade I ended up going with the black diamond here you can see it it has three modes it has the center light and it has a smaller light and it has a red light so you can touch this spot right here that's the big one. That's the smaller one. And it has a red feature, which is pretty cool. Never used it, but it's still cool. So that's the new one. And it gives you like a lighting right here and how much battery is left. It goes off of the three triple A's, which is I have this one here. This little guy I found uh, a couple of days ago. It's a cool little nine volt light has two modes it's gonna be my new hand light so I'm gonna enjoy that camp light here it's one of those solar chargeables you can see how much charge it has it has three modes oh shit I dropped it. it has three modes so it's that's the first mode and second third and then it has a strobe I believe yeah see it's cool because it's super bright, super light, compacts, and then it, it, it accordions out when you blow into it. You can hang it and then charge it in the sunlight. It's beautiful. Very nice. Got that at REI. It's a. Right there's the brand. Then there's the buttons. Charge right there to see the charge. Right there. And then that's the modes. What else? So winter wise, I bought this down the street from my house. It is super warm. I've used it twice already on snow trips. Then I went and got this. This is lighter. It's a down beanie. I've used it on one snow trip. It is super warm. I got it off of uh, Amazon for for 13 bucks, I believe, or something like that. It's super warm. Doesn't look that great on you though. Get my fun of by your friends and stuff like that. Yeah. So these are also for my winter loadout. It's their snow booties. Keep your feet super warm. And they're pretty durable. Um I've worn them around camp. They they're great. Um just stood on like a path that I did for myself so I didn't get them wet. It was great. Um 
these are one this is let me see if i can do this here this has my first hammock that i've had um i've had this since the beginning um i used to have a bug net and then my dog ripped the bug net so i had to um take it off but it was like towards the second year i've had it that she ripped it um it wasn't her fault she's a big dog she's the hammock dog you guys seen on the, on the videos um this is my tarp that i made myself uh, i want to say it's about 10 feet by i don't know like eight ten by eight um did all the stitching myself i've had this for since the beginning as well uh, made it out of uh, ripstop from Joanne's and then just did all the tie outs um, I'll give I'll, I gotta do a video on that actually all my stuff that I made um, ten stakes so these are just the uh, Walmart brand ten stakes uh, I really enjoy them they're not heavy at all uh, I carry nine of them I know it's a little overkill but I I can't say I've used all nine already because I haven't but I used them once when we went I my first went out with the uh, blue jeans and my sister um did a storm mode because my, my tarp I made it so it can go into storm mode with doors perfect it worked great um the foot tarp from the 99 cent store. It's one of those tarps that they use for when they're doing um, yard work, put the ground, you can kneel on it, but I use it for putting my bag down on top of, or when I'm in my hammock, put it down right there so you can take your boots off and you don't have to worry about socks getting dirty and full of stuff, so that works out great. Uh, I just ordered this as um, my mosquito nets got this for 10 bucks off of Amazon I haven't even opened it yet to be honest with you but it looks decent it's just like a regular bug net it was really hard for me to find one that I liked on Amazon because um the one the bug net I want it has to go sideways because I don't like the up and down one it's weird when you get in and out anyways that's just me <clears throat> uh from Hammock. Just got this from REI a couple weeks ago. Used it twice already. I really love this hammock. It came with the suspension inside of it already. Comes packed really well. But um crazy over there. <laughs> it, it's a double hammock. It, it just feels super comfortable. But I do still love my original hammock that I've had for a while. Um, see about the same size, but you, if I were to put this hammock inside this couch, it would compress great. But the thing about this is that I like these, this is where the suspension's at. For this hammock, I use toe straps. They're a little heavy, they're on the head, not heavy, they're, they're light, but, um, what I like about these is they're 15 feet, so we can go around any tree. This is 10 feet. Just a, it's annoying. But anyways, um, these are two different kind of socks. These are just some wool socks that I got from Walmart. They're really good. Um, come in like a pair of three. These I got from Big Five. Super warm. I will recommend them all the time. Um, heat holders are just nice. I have a beanie too somewhere, but I don't have it here. <clears throat> this is a, another tarp that I'm going to start using for summer because it is it is shorter and I just got to pack it better as well. But pull that out. All it is is a rain fly from a, a, a tent that I found. Um, took the rain fly off. The tent was already messed up, it was old. So I got rid of the tent, kept the rain fly. Perfect for, for a, a tarp for a hammock. 
So, score. Um, I only carry one knife with me now. I used to carry three. I used to carry a pocket knife, a knife on my, on my, uh, on my strap, and then I used to carry this one on my side. Now, I just carry one because I only need one. It's a decent sized knife. Got it for like 12 bucks down the street from my house. I haven't gone wrong yet. Throw it at trees and it's, it's great. I used to use Nalgene bottles, well, knockoff Nalgene bottles from the swab meat that we got um, a while back. <clears throat> Switched to smart water bottles with the uh, squeeze. They're lighter, they hold some, you get the bigger one, they hold more water. So they're great. Um, I used to use the three, these, uh, this pot set. Ooh, it's got some rest in it. <laughs> well, it's not rest. Never mind. That's just usage. Um, I used to use this in it for forever. I was using this for a very long time. I just switched over the last few trips to this cook set. It's a lighter. It's only two pieces. And it holds. It's it's more compact and it's just tall, but it holds the um, the gas and the stove, which we'll get to that after. But what I used to do is I used to carry the. Uh, let's see, I used to carry the cookware with the Stanley. Now I just carry this guy, and this is like a little cozy, holds in the heat, and if it's too hot, you can put it in on there. Perfect. Um, little little uh, spoon titanium spoon super light I, I, I like it now didn't really like like it before um this is just what i used to use which i actually always still carry two extra ones just to be on the safe side that's just my peace of mind so i used to use this one with the cups that they come with or those little cups but i switched over to this little guy from again from rei gsi um has a little measurements inside it's a little cozy right here so it keeps it warm still um and it's super light it's i, I don't even know how many i've never weighed any of this stuff so for coffee and everything um you can do well i usually do these little guys or we got the the g7 i believe that blue jean gets from amazon super good they're really really good um these are good too just to have something to drink and i'll just wash it all out and use it and then you can use this as another cup so that works out great um but now i've been using little keurig um coffees because i like really really good coffee this guy is is awesome you'll see it in one of my um newer videos it's it goes with this guy right here so what it does is put this down again it um opens right here and then you put the coffee inside put this guy right on top of it so it's like a it's like a curing kind of then you put it right on top just like that pour the water in and it just sips it through you got great coffee and it's super light too so it fits perfect into the cup close in in boom that's how when you start doing stuff like this you start learning how to pack stuff into other stuff just like this guy will hold the gas stove and the stove inside and then like Maybe a, a lighter or some matches or something because there's extra room. Or I can just put this guy in there. And then that's, no more or less, that's, you know, easy. So, I'm losing track here. I should do cookware and sleep system and, you know, separate. But we're just gonna, we're just diving in here. I'm just trying to give you guys a idea of, of what to, you know, look for. What to... Um, if you're starting off to give you ideas of what you might need out there when you're going to the snow or you're going to do something cold to, you know, summer. Summer's this way, you know. Always take toilet paper. Get a toilet paper, pull the brown piece out, 
put in a Ziploc bag in case it rains or you get wet going through water. Um, you never know what's going to happen out there. It's, it's You always want to prepare, not over-prepare, but prepare enough, you know? So, oh, okay, so here we go. Sawyer Mini. Super great to have. It's tiny. It works with this right here. So you fill this bag up, you tie this on, and then you just you squeeze. I'm sorry, this is the Sawyer squeeze. No. Sawyer Mini. The other one's the squeeze and the micro they have. So those three of them that Sawyer has. Um, the Sawyer goes on this guy. So you fill this up with water with this right here or you know what I used to do was cut um, a bottle the top of the like a regular water bottle then you can fit this and and that inside that bottle so when you you need to fill the this little guy up you pour the water you get from the river into this guy with the cut open water bottle then you put this guy on top and you squeeze it into a new water bottle that you're using for water and there you go clean water this is a new addition as well it's just a wine to go flask super light versus this guy which is my go-to um i use him for like regular day hikes and stuff just put some whiskey in there and you know get to the top of the mountain have it just a little bit it's fine it's great it's a nice like cheers celebration kind of thing especially if it's a you know ass kicker of a hill but this guy holds a full bottle of whiskey um well i don't have one right now to show you i'll say what excuse me now this is where i start getting complicated with my stuff this is my emergency bag for med stuff well little, little med kit has bandage little emergency flag right there gauze I don't I used to have tape and I don't which I gotta get more of I don't know where it went this is just gum from Emory's that I've gone through that's just fun to have this is my um fire starter kit I have matches I have a striker I have a, a lighter those are the great three good things you always want with you put them in bags I was carrying a bunch of these guys around they're just little pouches that I find at stores or you know anywhere I this would be my my med kit sorry and I would fill this up and it and the thing by itself is is has weight to it not heavy just has weight to it um but I switched to a, I went back to one of these because I originally started with this but then I had to change baggers so often but there's tons of ziploc bags here at the house so i don't have to worry about it ziploc bags are the time they're the easiest way to keep everything organized there's no weight to them you know and they can last through water so there's no point in not having that so this right here is another little piece that i usually have it's like i said it's overkill but this is for um just the extra stuff it's a little thermal blanket chapstick um itch cream and i think that's toothpaste so this is a lifesaver um especially if you're going multi-day trips this is really good to have um i you know what that's for it's baby powder for chafing and stuff small thing of off um i usually have like a bigger one too but this is this has been doing pretty good so far i've had it like crazy attacks lately so it's good um what else do we got food bag it goes bigger than it's a i don't see how many but you just unclip it roll 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 so you can stuff all kinds of food in this thing it just holds all kinds of stuff see it's big it just rolls down small and it's really light and it's waterproof it's great um oh so one snow year blue jeans got us these for the snow to walk around in and they worked out great um off, off of amazon you just put your you get your uh socks on after you know you're done with all the camp stuff camp chores and then 
you put these on with those socks inside and your your um ready you got your sweats on so they go inside there too perfect they were they kept our feet dry so thanks blue jeans that was a saver that was a lifesaver saw next time i'm gonna have these with these and like that inside of these that's gonna work out great so i don't have to worry about those getting wet so went over that this is still a work in progress because i'm switching between hammocks um i gotta figure out how to incorporate this this is just a little a bag that i keep inside the my hammock ridge line um it uh holds in the middle and then you can put stuff in it my phone speakers stuff like that chargers oh, which i didn't pull out um you're gonna want solar charger for like uh to recharge your batteries and stuff not battery but like your phone cameras whatever like that or you can just get like a battery bank i like the solar charger because you use it all the time out there if you're going for more than two days you want a solar charger to charge during the day when you're just hanging out hiking whatever it is you want that um i had i'm currently carrying two portable chargers and i i miss my solar charger i just gotta get a new one um this i used to carry first aid here too i switched to camera stuff like the little mounts for the gopro i'm not sure if i'm gonna use it again um i'm still debating on it it's not it's like it's lighter than the other one so i'm still might use that these i just ordered little espiners for my uh sleep system for my uh under quilt that's I, have, I gotta try that out i haven't even tried it out yet just got them a couple days ago um all right so we have like i'm saying i'm going to try i'm trying to go lighter so this was the original setup i have for um cooking then i just recently transferred to these um blue jeans turned me on to it with our uh trail cowboy has a bsr brs this is oh this is crazy watch so God, you're not even ready for this this was the original one this thing is like five bucks on amazon and it works great only fall back to this is is that the igniter here tends to go out stops working after a while see how it how it like you'll you'll see the igniter go and it'll start clicking that eventually will go out so when you turn it on you have to light it with the lighter so just it it's really good it does it never failed me the igniter fails yes but other than that it's a really good stove um i recommend it for people that are starting out not 100 percent sure about they're gonna want to get into it because as you go you can start off really cheap um cheap and heavy <laughs> which is the way i started off and still have um which is you know this is five bucks at big five i believe or at walmart this one is five bucks at rei smaller but it does the same thing um blue jeans knows more he does a lot more research i just kind of find stuff and buy it <laughs> so this is the other the other stove it's way smaller obviously and then comes in this little pouch that's the stove it's crazy tiny um does not have an igniter so you don't have to worry about it failing it's just when you when, when i first touched it i was like oh my god i'm gonna break this thing but that's good that's it right there then you connect it to you can connect it to the big one if you, if you want to it's fine same thing same fitting connect it get a lighter oh well, you turn it on you'll hear the gas going and then you just light it and it just turns on and then you hire it you can make it go high you can lower it turn it off it's it is a great great stove super super light almost lose it but don't <laughs> uh but it's great i love it it's a i think i got it for 16 bucks on amazon 
um, worth it though. <laughs> it is so worth it. Cause it's, it's crazy how much more powerful this is than this one. And look at the size. And this one's heavier. You know, you got the case, you got the, it's just heavy. This is what I mean about I'm switching stuff up, trying to get a little bit lighter. But on a multi-day trip, I'd probably take one of these just because it's bigger. But, you know, either way, we'd start using the fire. I'm actually going to get a wood burning stove just because I want one. And uh, it's going to be interesting to use one. So, what about sleeping bags? Or, oh, how about shoes for camp? Camp shoes for the summer. I have these. These are speedos i love these things i've had them two years i got two sets of these one's for camping and the other one's just for like pool or going to the beach they're awesome these are micro spikes we use these for the snow and for the um ice see one of oh what the hell is that that's a little piece that came off there oh well, i'll fix that later yeah, they're heavy as hell, but they give you so much grip when you're walking on ice. It's crazy. All right. Now, these are what you're going to need. Uh, this is a down 800 fill um, outdoor vital sleeping bag. It is awesome. I, I love this sleeping bag. It's great. Oh, outdoor vital. Dude, this bag. What can I say about this bag? It is uh, a down mummy bag. Um, I've had this for almost three years, or not, if not three years. <sighs> I've gone in down to 12 degrees with this bag before. My brother used it. We went down to 9 degrees. The thing's rated for 15 degrees comfortable or extreme. No, comfort. And then like 5 degrees extreme. And it, it held. It, it's great. It is a really great bag. But I use this year-round. No matter what, what the temperature is, I just... It's the only one I have. But I'm going to end up getting a, a top quilt because of my... I want something different. This is my under quilt. This thing, I got, I took this thing down to nine degrees. So they are, it's a double throw quilt, a uh, black diamond throw quilt from Costco. Um, they're 20 bucks. So this was $40 I paid for, sewing it together, put, um, uh, not stretchy cord um i forgot the damn cord the name for the cord but it's the cord that stretches um i did forget the name of it but i'll get back to you with it um sold in just these lines then pushed it through with the with by itself i just i just pushed it all the way through and it worked it works great so the other one to it um took this thing down to nine degrees and I, I couldn't believe it actually held up. I wasn't super warm, but I wasn't cold. I wasn't cold at all. I was, I was perfect. It was nice. Um, we were in the Sierras, our last big trip. Uh, and uh, we got down to nine degrees the first night. Um, and it, it held. It held. And I didn't think it was going to hold. Um, honestly, I don't know what rating would that be classified for because I'm not at by any means uh what is that thing called I don't know I don't make them for a living so I just put it together I saw it on YouTube um but it went down it went down to nine degrees and it, and it held so uh I'm I'm great I'm grateful <laughs> so there you got it guys um just quick things on what you guys might need out there Things that I've tried, things that I went through. Oh, hold on. Pack. Yep, you're gonna need a pack. This is a High Sierra Sentinel 65 degree pack, uh, degree, uh, 65 liter. 
I started off with a Teton 65. Um, I bought that one off of Blue Jeans. He now has like four packs. I lost track of how many packs he has. They're great. This one's working great for me. You know, the smaller, the, the lighter stuff I get, the smaller stuff everything is. So I'm going to need a different pack, but that is going to be a great, that's a great pack for like winter. So it holds everything great. Uh, for sleeping, what I wear, <clears throat> excuse me, what I wear for sleeping is um, like a thermal Under Armour kind of with the really nice um, thick sweats, uh, Under Armour long sleeve with the t-shirt over that my beanie or oh yeah just my beanie and then you know the 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 sleeping bag you know and then it's it, as long as you have a great sleeping bag you're not gonna need to like worry much about being cold out there you get a sleeping bag with a good under quilt um i'm sorry you know i do hammock uh i don't have a tent set up yet because i have well i have two um tents but I don't use them. I haven't used them since I had them. So I've since I started backpacking, I've always been a hammock guy. So that's why the channel is called Hanging with Compass. But anyways, um, I hope that helped out a little bit. If you have any questions or I'm explaining stuff wrong, please let me know. And uh, I'll do my best to to correct it or something. Because I'm just I want to. I would like to help whoever's starting off and trying to get into um being outdoors it's just it's a great thing to do it's it's great for the soul to recharge and just get away from it all it's it uh helps reboot you know for me anyways and a lot of people that i know it's a it's a good thing so yeah oh i have a garmin that i use when i'm out there well for my for anything life um, it's a Garmin Phoenix 2 or 1. Um, it does all kinds of stuff. It, temperature, barometer, not barometer, uh, altimeter, um, waypoints. It has a GPS system in it that when you're hiking, you can look back and you can see your actual map. And if you're on the trail and you go off trail, it'll, it can show you your way back. It has a little, it has a feature says backtrack on it super great they have the better they have new ones out there that are super expensive phoenix 4 phoenix 3 those things are super top of the line they're like apple watches but i think just, they do so much more than just you know text and stuff like that um but yeah you know i'll i'll do another one of those because i have one already on my channel so if you guys need to more information on the garmin that i have uh, i have a video on that already so like i said if you have any other questions or i'm explaining it wrong or i didn't explain it right or i'm mixing you guys up like i said i'm going to be doing videos for the my setups for this this hammock system and this hammock system with the bug net the smaller rain fly and the new uh pro hammock this is always going to be with either one of those but um yeah like i'm just trying to get it better you know it's it's always a constant constant upgrades const, constant changes uh i wish i had a little bit different like i wish i had my my other one that i switched from this one with your second like, you can you you can see the difference it's crazy like it's big compared to that one but um it's pretty much like this it's like you see the big headlamp and you see the small headlamp it's like that but yo i'll put another one up for it um oh you know what i forgot about this this guy combi tool it's a fire tool it also holds my gopro and it goes with me every single time every day hike every trip i'm taking it with me i had a smaller one i forgot to put it away right backed into the jeep and that went back so yeah um now I'm going to put this crap away and get to bed because it's light. But I really wanted to do this video. I've been trying to do one for a while. I just haven't had time to. And right now I'm taking the time and I'm a little tired. So I might be mumbling. And if you don't hear me right, let me know. I'll do another video. I'll end up like 
doing separate videos on some of this stuff. Let me know if you want to see something separate. I can do reviews. I'm probably going to end up doing a review on the beanie, on the headlamp, this light, just more in, in detail and, and showing, you know, how they work and stuff like that. So, all right, guys. Well, thanks for hanging with Compass for a little bit. Uh, you know, get out there. Get your stuff. The, the more the more you do it, the more you understand why you change things, why you upgrade stuff or downgrade or change this and change that. So, all right, guys. You guys have a good night.